Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this fine silver pet jewelry. If this is something that you'd want to learn today, then please keep watching. So the entire nation is on quarantine and for my spare time, I've been doing a lot of this. I'm actually working on some metal clay and this is pure silver so what's the difference between fine silver or pure silver and your sterling silver your sterling silver is made up of an alloy which combines silver copper and nickel sometimes or zinc so it tarnishes while the fine silver or pure silver is 99.9% .9 silver so it doesn't tarnish it's more precious it's more valuable so i'm really excited to share with you this new product for catticorn pets so now you can see that i'm just putting all the designs the imprints and i'm making sure that everything fits to my mold Once everything is set, you just cut off the excess and keep the excess. I also made this makeshift hydrator. It's clay hydrator. So I keep all my spare metal clays here i make sure that the sponge is damp so that my clay won't dry out and after that it's time for me to dry the clay i have to make sure that this piece is bone dry meaning there's no moisture that's trapped in it it's super dry from top to bottom because any moisture can cause breakage or bubbles or it can ruin the design after drying it then I'll have to torch it. So now that you can see that I'm applying my torch and the flame is actually caused by the binders being centered. So once that is centered or once the binder is flamed up, We're waiting for the peas to go salmon red or salmon pink. So after a few minutes of firing it continuously, you just have to be very patient at this stage because this is very, very important. From the time that it flames up up to the time that it goes red or salmon red, that's the time that this piece is actually forming into a pure, compacted, fully centered fine silver so we are very very close to it you can see that it's changing colors and as soon as i get that salmon red color i'd have to maintain the heat for about one to two minutes so it takes quite a while there you go you can see the color it's light orange if you turn the lights darker or if you are in the darker room you'll see it glow brighter so that's the color that we're getting. That's the color that we've been waiting for. 
and I'd have to wait for about 1 to 2 minutes and make sure that my torch is just hovering around the piece. In the meantime, I would like to invite you for my first ever jewelry making workshop. We will be working on some metal clay. I will be teaching you how to make your own fine silver jewelry using metal clay. It's very very easy. There's no need for any special tools or special equipments. All you need is a torch. And this torch, you can get it from Lazada, you can get it from Gordo's, you can get it from True Value. It's very very easy, very very workable. So stay tuned for our workshop and I'd love to see you in class. For our updated workshop schedule, just check our Linktree account. Alright, so time is up. And it's time to quench this. So quenching is when you put the metal in a glass of water just to cool it down. And when you hear that swish, it's actually safe for you to hold the piece of metal. There you go. This is how it looks like. The white cast is actually the binders and it's metal. Alright, next step is you have to brush away all those binders or all those white residue. So I use this steel brush. This is actually a stainless steel brush that I got from Korea. This step is very important because after sintering, you'd have to brush away all the white residue and make sure to compact the silver molecules. So brushing also helps harden your silver. Once you've removed all the white cast, at this point, this is what you call the brushed finish or the matte finish. So this is how it looks like if you want to achieve that texture. But if you want it to be glossy or mirror finish, you'd have to use something like this. This is called a burnisher. So it further compacts the molecules of the silver, revealing a shinier finish. So you just have to put a little pressure while rubbing it in. When you rub a silver piece to another metal that's harder than it, it helps make your silver harder. So even if this is fine silver 99.9, .9, it's not flimsy, it's not too soft because we're actually doing all the process to make it hard. Alright, so there you go. This is how it looks like when you finish burnishing it. See that mirror-like finish? So this is the difference. Here's my first sample. This is the matte or brushed finish. While this is the mirror finish, you see that it's more 
shiny it's more mirror like surface anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to comment below if you've enjoyed it and if you wanted to join my next workshop and i'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.